Hello and welcome to Lucy Bites. Good to see you karibuni sana. Thank you very much for that. Wewe unakujanga hapa kila wakati. Wewe mwenye una comment na kupenda tu. Sana 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 sana. For all my returning subscribers, ni nani kama nyinyi tunapendana. So this one is for you. Tukipatana mahali kasoda kwa mbele yangu. Ya nani yangu? Kampa avocado kwa mbele ya nani? Ka avocado kwa mbele yangu tukipatana mahali popote pale. So now there is this story um ya mama Mama ya mama ya Max ame adopt Max na ako na son wake anaitwa Gwash. That is the only um, the main thing nataka kuongelelea huyo mama kwanza and any other person when anajua asha why adopt a child ama ume take care of a loved one. You know you have taken care of loved ones. Ama umekuwa pale kwa homes and you give your best as in you take care of somebody and you give your best. Now uh, looking at this story I've seen uh guardians wakirudi wanaachwa na uchungu sana you take care of somebody unampatia all that it takes all all that you know ya kupatia mtoto wako yani una, unampenda unamfanyia zile vitu zote mzuri and then mtoto anarudi anaku respect mtu anaku respect yani mtoto anakukosea adabu kabisa hakuna kitu uchungu kama hiyo hakuna kitu uchungu kama hiyo kwa baba kwa guardian kwa mama kwa mtu yani you have take, you have given all your love umejinyima because of somebody alafu anarudi anakuwa wewe ndio uchungu anarudi kukupatia pain i want to talk to these people i want to talk to you so nikiangalia historia ya gwash sababu i know there are so many people who are there wenye wako na watoto yani umelea mtoto umempatia all that you know is the best anarudi anakuwa kitu kingine i looked at the comments i look at I looked at how we were all talking and you know we were sharing things there especially kwa live and comments and all that and i understand of course kwa mitandao kuko na young people um, but the ones who have experience i, I believe work of few work of very few and um, that's why sometimes i do these videos i come and analyze them now why am i where am i coming from or where am i going looking at this story gwash came now so umesikia now th this is a mother ako na vijana wake wawili mama gwash ako hapa meita gwash amemuuliza gwash mbona alikuwa anataka wa discuss mbona wewe ukaenda kulala na the other na, 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 na girlfriend ya max mbona ukafanya hivyo ama exactly what was going on the boy a very rude boy san wake mwenyewe yani very rude boy very naughty boy and i can see pain of a woman somewhere I I naona tu uchungu ya mtu. May God see you through. Is a tears unamwanga because of your child. May that child change. So now, Kalusi turudishe, don't lose us, don't lose us. I know I know how it feels. I know those tears. Now, so mama Gwasha kwa hapa is talking to Gwash. Gwash vile anamujibu, yani zile vitu huyu kijana alikuwa anamujibu. Tumeshtuka. The boy is so rude. Mtoto ana mama anamwambia nilikuwa nataka kujua. Sasa tuna eh hey, mimi nimefikisha mimi ni mtu mkubwa mimi siko chini yako mimi sijui ni nini unaniambia kwani sikuwa nafaa kukuwa na girlfriend kwani sikuwa ni si mimi nimekuwa mkubwa zile vitu anarudi anaambua lakini mbona unalala na girlfriend wa yule kijana wa, wa, wa your brother eh hey, huyo si brother yangu wewe ulimuadopt mimi msiniambie usi why nitajia huyo brother we we looking at the love that this mother had akasikia wacha adopt a child thinking that ile love yako nayo it, it is it can be transferred from the son irudi and what sometimes you do expecting that your children will do at the end of the day or at the end of it all, they don't resemble us these children of nowadays are to resemble kabisa wengi ni wale wako kwa mitandao wengi ni wale wako kwa ma competition wengi ni wale wame kuwa wanaangalia influencers wa sijui what kind of influencers they are looking or they are watching so wanakuwa yani ni yani unakaa kama maji na mafuta because now mama gwash niliona mama mkarimu mimi ninaona mama mzuri mama amejaribu kupatia watoto wake all the best mama amejaribu kubalance watoto wake but gwash has a problem and we have so many gwashes 
Then, so there is a situation in sweet potato, of course, gonges, we have so many gonges outside there. And if you are here, wewe mwenye uko kwa mitandao, of you have, you have come across this video tafadhali, and you know you are like that boy. Yani unakosa eshima ama mtoto msichana. Yani unakosa eshima kwa wale watu wame, wame kuangalia ukiwa mdogo. Because I've seen uh, so many people saying, Wakisha grow when they get married. They are the people who will be saying, oh, my family never took care of me. Oh, my aunties were bad. Oh, my uncles were bad. Oh, my, my grandma. And I understand. Kuna wale upitia kweli maishambaya. My sister was bad. My brother was bad. I want you to see this. Um, Wewe ni nini unafanya? To make things better. What are you doing to make things better? Wewe kijana mwenye uko hapa. What are you doing to make things better? Maybe your mother ama your guardian. Ni mutu alisahau zile vitu alikufanyo ukiwa mdogo. Just forgive and move on. And give now love back. Kwa sababu si understand. Yili wakati uko mdogo unaona wa watu. As in uko mdogo and they took care of you. They would have neglected you. They would have neglected you. But these people took care of you. Lakini wewe ukarudi ukaona kama gwash, mimi nimekuwa mkubwa. Mama hakuna kitu inaniambia. Mama mimi nitafanya vile ninataka. I want to encourage a mother outside there. Especially vile niliona mama gwash akisema nitajifua na pressure. Mimi unataka tu nijifue na pressure niende nikamojeke nikufa kama wala wa kama. Mkijana anamwambia ukofe. Wewe u that is your own son. The own son mwenye ata ameanza kugawa mali. I think that was one of the worst thing to see. But we know we have children like these ones. We are so many wenye tuko na watotoka mahawa. We with, you with your big and your, your good heart thinking that kweli mtoto wako ata, ata higa zile mienendo zako anarudi ya get out of way. I just want to encourage that person out the, outside there. The mama gwash, the mama goges. May God see you through. Any other day you have a challenge. Usiambie mtoto wako ati uneza gonjeka ati utashikwa na pressure. Muambie child, I've taken care of you. But now since you have proved to be big, to be over 18, thank you very much. May you take care of your life. Because looking at this gwash, watoto kama ngwash ukiwambi unashikwa na pressure and of course yes utashikwa na pressure kwa sababu yule ni mtoto wako na atakuangaisha but I've come to realize lazima ujipatie nguvu na usionyeshe usipatie usiambie mtoto wako sasa sitakula because of it oh I will eat and I will eat more I know those things are gonna faces lakini kifika ma face fulani and you know you have done your best just let it go God for us all may God see this new generation May you who is there never disrespect your guardians, your parents, your any a person who has taken care of you. May you never disrespect them. See you on my next one. I love you so much. And my prayer is, may you thrive in every area of your life. Gwash, gwash, gogi, gogi. Life will teach you. Bora isis kufundishe ukiwa tayari sasa uko karibu kwa shimo ndio unachikumbuka me it never be late see you on my next one and i love you i love you i love you i love you so much mama gwash and other mothers mama gwashes mama gogis may god see you through sasa leo nafikiria ni mtoto wako kumbe it is a max who is going to take care of you you did a good thing May God wipe your tears, Mama Ngugi. See you on my next one, and I love you so much.